All right, everybody, welcome back to our YouTube series on how to play tug with your dog. So far, we've gone through the foundational work of how we're going to play tug with the dog with a suitable prey drive, how we're going to work on the out with the dog with a suitable prey drive. Before we go into more detail on other things, first of all, we need to cover equipment. And we're going to be putting links to this equipment on Amazon in the description below, so make sure you check that out. First of all, we're going to need a back tie, all right? A back tie is uh, something that we're going to put on something that's solid. So I like using these wires. This is just a back tie wire on Amazon. I'll show you guys in a link in the description how to get it, right? So we're going to use one of these wires. I'm using a tree. You can use a fence post, a car, whatever you want to use, something that's solid so that when your dog pulls against this, the, the item is not going to go anywhere. So this tree is not going to go anywhere, right? So I just loop it around the tree. I connect it to itself and then I'm good to go. I can connect it to the dog down here, okay, which we'll show in a future video, all right? We'll just connect it to the dog right here, all right? With that being said, note that the angle of the back tie, I want the angle where it's tied up around the tree or the fence post or the vehicle, whatever, is higher on that side than it is the side where we're gonna connect the dog to because what we don't want to happen is we don't want this back tie to slack and then the dog step over it and wrap a leg around it, that could cause injury. So we don't want that. So we always angle the back tie that's around the item, the solid item up higher, and then the dog should be lower than that, okay? Something else we're gonna need is a harness, all right? Again, we'll link item descriptions uh, to these on Amazon below. A harness you want where it has a chest pad for the dog's chest to sit right into, right? You want all the pressure to be on this chest pad right here, okay? You also want metal or heavy duty plastic buckles, right? So notice this buckle right here. That's a metal buckle, right? That's not gonna break, it's not gonna go anywhere. Okay, once we clip it, okay, that's not gonna break, it's not gonna go anywhere. They also have heavy duty plastic ones you can get as well. You want it to have a handle on it, and then you want it to have a back tie ring. So imagine that this is on the dog, this will be on the back of the dog, then we're going to connect our back tie to it like we talked about earlier okay and then that's how we're going to hold our dog back and build up prey drive okay which i'll describe in a future video okay so those are some things we need again harness heavy duty buckles preferably metal could be plastic and then uh, we're going to have a chest pad to it a handle and a back tie ring okay over here other things we're going to need we're going to need a regular tug Okay, you can get these in a variety of shapes and sizes. This one's a little bit used, all right? You can get it without handles. You can get it with handles. This is a fire hose tug. You can get them in a wide variety of different materials, all right? So there's pros and cons to all that, which if you wanna hear those pros and cons, let me know, I can make a future video, but this is just a quick equipment orientation video, okay? This one's well used, so it's missing a handle on this side, one handle on that side, still works for me, okay? So as you build up your game of tug, you're also going to want other items. This is a bite pillow, a tug pillow, okay? This is, this is another slick type material, similar to fire hose. It's got three handles on it, and it's pretty easy to grab by the dog, okay? So that is something to note. This is an easy uh, material to bite into, all right, which can help us build up dog's prey drive and the reward factor for the dog in certain situations. So this is a good thing to have. Also note, <laughs> it's kind of like a wedge, so the dog's mouth will fit very nicely on this. And also, as we develop the dog's muscles to be able to hold on to things, these wedges can help us, okay? Here's another level. This is like a more moderate uh, bite pillow, tug pillow that we, have to, that we could use, right? So the material is jute material, right? But the difficulty of grabbing onto this, you can't feel it obviously, but it's much harder to hold on to. It's thicker, right? So the dog has to open up their mouth more to get onto that. So it's a thicker material. They have to really bite onto that really good, okay? And hold onto that really good. All right, three handles on it. Good, this is a really good uh, bite pillow right here, okay? Last but not least, <laughs> we got a full bite wedge. The purpose of this, number one, it's really hard to hold onto this. Notice the, the drastic wedge to this thing, okay? It's got three handles over here for ease of use for the handler, okay? But if we go back to the wedge view, okay, whenever the dog comes in and bites this thing, all right, they're gonna have to come in, they have to open up their mouth nice and wide, get their mouth nice and deep on there and bite onto this thing and hold onto it, okay? So this is really good to help us 
build up some, some drive and grip development with the dog and also the dog's overall jaw muscles as they're working on something like this, okay? So with each level, starting with the tug, to the, to the, to the, the tug, right? To the soft bite pillow, to the medium bite pillow, to the wedge. One of the purposes is building up that dog's muscles in their jaw to be able to hold on to these things, right? So it is another style of fitness and exercise with our dog that we have to build upon, which is great, okay? Because we can exercise our dog doing these types of things, playing tug, having a good time. Last thing you're gonna need, some kind of line or rope. You can get these at your local store. You can get them on Amazon. I put a loop in one end, okay? And basically what we'll use these for, is let's say we got this tug, right? We'll put this loop through there. We'll loop the line onto itself, okay? And then we'll tighten that down. So now we got the tug on a rope, and this is a great for us to help build up drive development, build up prey driving dogs, and we need to do that because we can work at a distance from our dog and sling this in front of them and move it away from them, okay? So all useful things to have. Again, we'll link all this equipment in the description below. If you want more details on some of the reasons why we use these materials or other material options, please leave us a comment below like you ha guys have been doing so we can go through and explain that in more detail. Otherwise, we'll leave it at that. And we appreciate you guys, and we'll see you next time.